Hello everyone, I am Ms. Joe. Welcome to another Minecraft video. And welcome back to J-World everybody. Today we're gonna have a special video because my new computer is all set up and running and we have RTX now. And as you can see, I've installed some shaders and I've turned the RTX on and it's looking pretty amazing. So we're gonna do a tour of J-World with the RTX and shaders on. And just when I go to my front camera, guys, look at that. That alone is an epic view. Look at it. The gold is so shiny and the skylands is the fog and the, it just, oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Look at the wood, look at the logs, the stripped logs. That looks so cool. Guys, look at the pathing blocks. The pathing blocks look cool. The grass looks, the grass looks okay. But where is it, where is it, where is it? Where's the gravel? Is this gravel? Guys, I love the texture of the gravel blocks. That's stone. Oh man, where's a piece of gravel at? Is this gravel over here? That's gravel right there, guys. Look at it. It looks so cool. I love it. All right, so let's go and get a tour of the Skylands with all of this fanciness turned on so you guys can see just how epic it looks. And as we fly in, guys, look at the glass. As we fly around, if you watch the glass, you'll see it start reflecting the lights from the sun and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can see the reflection of the sun right there. And you can see the particles in my face. Somebody find me a texture pack that gets rid of all these particles, like 100% of particles. I need it so bad. I hate it. All right, guys, this, I think, is hands down my favorite. The quartz. Look at it. It's so reflective and smooth and shiny. Oh my gosh, I'm just like so in love with it. As we come around, we have the social building, guys. Look at the carpet. I think it looks a little bit more like tile, like small tiles than carpet. But look, you can even see the light pathing through it. And then we have our shiny course. We got our fish tank with no fish inside of it, guys. And the water has parallax too. Like it distorts the angle of things when you're looking at it. We come around into here and look how bright it is in this room, guys. Look at our elevator. It looks so epic. You can barely even see the glass rods hanging down. The water is just crystal clear. Oh, that was weird. I don't know what happened there. And then we come in, we get our bath, and look at this, watch. Look at that. There's only one dispenser up there, but when the water pours over you, it distorts your view and makes it look like there's a whole bunch. It's so cool. The iron trap doors look like actual polished iron. We come over to biometrics where you get your eye scan, you get your fingerprints, you get all of that stuff. And then as we come around to the basic medical assessment, guys, look at the reflection of the lights off the orange glass right there. Look at the polished um, andesite table. Look how reflective it is. Like you can just imagine how cold this table probably is when they lay down on it in order to get their scans and all of their tests and the doctor's chilling back here where it's safe behind his environmental curtain with these heavy industrial doors. Look at the metal on the blast furnace. Oh man, this is so epic. Guys, look at the end rods. They glow so bright. It's, it's like it's an actual fluorescent bulb. I love it. And then we come around to the area where people go for further assessment, the medical bay. Look at the redstone lamp. Look how reflective and shiny it is. That's so cool. And then we have each of the bays where they chill with their cauldron for water. They have their beds to sleep on with a blanket. And then we have the cell for anybody who's contaminated or sick, but is unruly and not behaving the way that they're supposed to be behaving. They have the iron bars with the orange environmental protection around it as well. And we can hear the sheep below us. <laughs> as we go up to the second level, we have the outdoor patio, and guys, look at this, look at this. When you look out, you can see, look at all the sparkles and things just randomly taking place. That's the moon. 
and the lights from the Skylands reflecting off of the landscape. It's so cool how it does that. We have the squad bay. The squad bay doesn't look very different or the dormitory, whatever you want to call it, with everybody's beds, people have their towels. Look at the metal on the barrels. It's shiny as well. And then we have the showers with the particles looking, the smoke looking a little bit weird. That's because of the texture pack I installed to try and get rid of the particles. Didn't get rid of them. It just made them a little bit thinner. It still drives me crazy. We come around and we have the memorial for the nether to commemorate all the lives lost when the infection started coming into our world. And guys, look at these trees. Look at the blue glowing on it. It's so incredible. The red does the same thing. Oh man, it's so nice. The obsidian, look at the texture on the obsidian, guys. Look at that. It's so cool. Whoever made this, oh man, it's, it's epic. I love it. So let's fly down. And let's do a quick tour of the spooky forest while it's still night. And then we'll head into the vault. And guys, look at the crying obsidian. Look at this. It looks so amazing. Oh, man, I love it. And even in the water, where is it at? Over here in the water, guys. Look at the... Hello? Hi. <laughs> look at the purple glow against the sand and around the blocks. It makes it look like the water is actually taking contamination out of, like, it, it looks like the water is actually being contaminated by the crying obsidian. Like the crying obsidian, the glowy purple pink stuff is actually just slowly oozing into the water source. And as we come across our bridge, that is still not completely done. We have the blue lanterns and we have every single tree that you can see from this path is custom made. The trees all around the spooky forest, I did myself. If you get further out, much further out, then you start getting normal trees. But right around the path, everything around the path is a custom made tree. Oh man, look, there's a skeleton horse right there, adding to the spookiness. We have the infection spreading through our spooky forest. We have the lava over there glowing and lighting up the area. We have the bent over trees, the trees that are just kind of warped by the infection. We have the trees that are dying and becoming uh, petrified by it. All the bamboo everywhere. You get your first glimpse of the mansion as you come around this curve before you have to walk over the infection yourself and you enter into this large fallen over tree that's hollowed out. And then it wraps around to the entrance, or the front of the mansion anyways, that we haven't done anything with yet. So here we are in the sky, and look at the way the lighting is around the Skylands. It's so bright up in the Skylands itself, and then you can see the gates, the entrances. They're so bright. It just, it just brings you in. The giant portal, oh man, the way the lighting stands out. And then look at this, guys. This I love this right here. Look at the outer ring right here. Look at the way the lights are around it. One thing I really want to do is go around and take up the rest of the diorite stairs and put torches or sea lanterns underneath every single stair block so that it has a solid ring of light going all the way around. Let's see if we can manage to get down into the vault. Let's do a little spin here. A little dive right here. Pull back up. Oh, man, look at that. 10 out of 10. I'm a pro, you guys. And look at the vault. Look at I3. Look at all of this stuff. The glass from the slime farm, the cyan glass, just reflecting the light, making it look so cool inside of there. We have all of the magma blocks from the creeper farm. We have the portals from the gold farm up above. And then we have I3 over here looking a little bit radioactive with all the sea lanterns behind the slime blocks. Look at the glass floor. It just reflects all of the light. Look at that. You can see the gold farm up there. And then you can barely see the crying obsidian spreading its way 
through the vault and slowly infecting more and more of the world. We come up to our portal, which is the very first portal into the nether dimension that started everything. At least that's what people think. And it just looks so cool. It just looks so shredded and lit up and dangerous and just like there's so much going on in here. We have the control room over here where we have the dude who gives us the thumbs up and lets us know that it's safe to enter the portal, that everything is ready to go. We got all the controls for the gold farm. We got the controls for the, um, the portal over there, shutting things down if there's an emergency. Look at the redstone, guys. Look at that. It looks so neat. It's like in a constant glowing state. And then our water elevator to get to the top. Look at the crystal clear water. You can't even tell that it's here, but it is here. And then look at that parallax. It looks like there's only two soul sand blocks there, but you come in and it's actually four. And then the lava. Guys, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Like, that's one solid lava flow. But you can only see parts of it because of the water, the parallax of the water. And then you can see all of our ugly uh dirt and stone and mixture of stuff that's underneath the water because we never changed it because with the normal minecraft textures you couldn't even see through to the bottom it was just blue but now with the crystal clear water you can see how ugly this actually is and we really need to fix that don't we so let's fly on over to the desert pyramid and take a look out across the desert we have a few landscaping issues we still need to take care of from where the cactus farm was and guys i gotta say the blackstone up here still looks okay the tall ones because they're in the back and they just kind of fade out but the ones in the front the ones these two they're concrete and they are the um the gilded blackstone with the gold inside of it and we did that because of how dark it made it look with normal Minecraft textures. But at this point, with the textures and the shaders on, I feel like we should put real obsidian in there because what I wanted was that super deep black reflective shiny look and real obsidian has that look with these textures and RTX on. The other thing that I thought about maybe doing is obsidian being in the middle, the very middle block being obsidian and black glass all around it. That would look so really cool, I think. And then over here, we have this that we don't exactly know what it is, but it looks like it's some kind of like ritual area or portal or we don't really know. There's something here that we don't know what it is or, or where it leads to or what it does. And then we have the pyramid itself that as we come up the steps and we enter inside, you're going to see it looks so different than what it does with normal textures. And that's because of the way that light interacts with the RTX on. So you can see it looks so much darker. And that's because it's only able, we're only able to see the light in certain spots where it's showing through from where I've hidden it. And you can see spots like this. There's definitely a torch or something right underneath that spot. And so it looks so different under here. We would definitely have to do something different if we're going to keep on playing with the RTX on. And look at the yellow glass with all of our redstone underneath it, reflecting all of the lights. And then we have our massive storage system for everything we get out of the piglin farm with the glowstone going all the way down. I love looking down this thing, guys, with all those uh, the glowstone. It just looks so cool. Now, we're going to go into the nether and take a look around there, but there's something going on in the nether that I haven't told you guys about yet. You see, we kind of have a problem in here. <laughs> and that problem deals with these guys who seem to be cool with me for right now. But look at the blue lanterns. The blue lanterns add such a cool touch to our basalt tunnels that we made. The magma blocks running through it. They're so bright and so awesome looking. But what's going on with the pigmen is that the gold farm, when I run it, you can see it's for some reason generating a lot of pigmen here in the nether as well. 
And then what's happened is I've come through the portals a couple times and gotten instantly wrecked by a mob of these guys because they were still aggroed to me from the gold farm. So I don't know if there really is even a solution for this. The only thing I can think of would be if the gold farm did not have a corresponding portal inside of the nether. At this point, it might be a little bit too late to do that though. And then lastly here, we have the skeleton dimension portal. This is the portal that leads to a dimension full of skeletons. We don't fully understand it, but what we know is one, when it opened, it ripped a giant rift into our world. Look at this. It's just expanding and opening up inside of our world. And for some reason, skeletons keep coming through, but they keep dying when they come through. So it kind of seems like whatever opened this portal didn't open it properly and all the skeletons that are pouring through, well, they just keep on dying. And every so often, one of them makes it and that's why we have all of our dogs here to be able to take care of the ones who make it. I love the crying obsidian guys though. In general, I like it so much, but with the RTX and shaders on guys, oh man, I'm just like totally in love with this block. It looks so incredibly cool. That's gonna do it for today's video though, guys. I've actually recorded this three times already because my recorder kept messing up my audio. But if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit a like button. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And if this is your first time seeing anything here on JWorld, go back and watch through the whole series so you can see the storyline as it develops, as we've been building and as we've been building, not just the structures and the landscape, but also the stories that have been going along with it. And if you haven't already, go to twitch.tv slash theanimusj and give me a follow. We're doing live streams now. And more importantly, we're doing live streams from the patron servers because now you can sign up as a patron at patreon.com slash the animus J. Oh, I'm getting shut. And you can join the patron server where I'm live streaming from, giving you an opportunity to play alongside of me and help me build Animus Bay because that's what we're building on the servers. There's a Java edition server and a Bedrock edition server. So it doesn't matter which one you want to play on. You can be a patron, you can join those servers, and you can play alongside me in the live streams as well as have your own builds showcased in a video from time to time right here on the Animus J channel. All this and more can be found in the description as well as in the Discord. Tons of questions and cool people and answers and all of that stuff is down in the Discord. So join the Discord, join the channel, join us on Twitch, that's going to be it for today, though, guys. I'm Animus J, and I'll see you next time.